today we will see the next example of the portal frame which is based on the strain energy method okay so last time i have told you uh, to solve this particular numerical as an assignment okay so let us see that how to solve this numerical okay uh, in this numerical uh, till date we have solved the unknown of uh, the portal frame which is having a one unknown okay but here in this case uh, as there is a hint support so there will be a possibility of the two unknowns okay but uh, here also one support is fixed support okay and another support is a hint support okay so there will be a no movement and there will be a no reactions will be formed at the fixed support because it is itself act as a integral part as a rigid part okay so on the column ab if you see the column ab let us see here this is a column ab as it is a fixed support so there will be a no chances of the displacement or a moment will be formed in this part okay only we are interested in calculating the unknown at support d okay so let us see how to solve this numerical okay so first of all the important step is to calculate the dosi that is degree of static indeterminacy okay which will be equal to here the total degree of freedom will be 3 here it will be 2 so 3 plus 2 5 so 5 and the known degree that is the known equilibrium condition is 3 5 minus 3 is 2 so here we are going to calculate the two unknowns that is a vertical reaction vd and horizontal reaction hd okay so this is a free body diagram of a portal frame okay so you must draw this free body diagram okay now let us see first of all apply the castigliano's theorem in a particular section so first of all start always start where we are going to calculate the unknown okay so here we are going to start from the right hand side d because un unknowns are formed at the point d only okay so we will consider the point d take the section xx okay and let us see the distance is x okay so the portion is dc like this origin is 0 to 4 and the moment will be equal to what moment will be there and here as we are interested in calculating the two unknowns that is hd and vd so therefore the partial derivative of moment has to be taken with respect to uh, hd also and with respect to the vertical reaction vd also okay so two column will be added here in the castigliano's table okay so here moment will be minus hd into x minus hd into x okay and with respect to partial derivative will be equal to uh, with respect to moment will equal minus x and here it will be zero okay now consider the point c so if you consider the point c the <coughs> Uh, span consider will be cv so let us take the vertical section that is x here okay so here it will be vd into okay what will be the moment minus hd into 4 <coughs> hd into 4 is the hd is the horizontal reaction 4 is the distance okay and plus vd into x vd into x distance will be considered okay minus 20 x square by 2 this minus 20 x square by 2 will be considered okay and this why this minus and this plus will comes because we know that whenever we consider the portal frame okay we are analyzing the portal frame from the right hand side okay so whatever the clockwise moment will be there it will be becoming anti uh, minus <coughs> and whatever the clockwise moment it become minus so therefore del m by del sd is equal to minus 4 and del m with respect to del vd is equal to x similarly the last point is b so when we consider the portion b so instead of taking the right hand side as a whole calculation we will go for the a portion that is b a so here we are considering the left hand portion okay so the numerical or the calculation become easy so b is equal to origin is b portion is b a length is 0 to 4 and ei is ei okay so here it will be minus sd 4 minus x will be there okay sd 
4 minus x will be there okay now next will be uh, plus vd into 4 will be there and plus minus 30 x plus 24 square by 2 into 4 so the final answer will be minus 4 plus x and here with respect to vd it is 4 okay now finally you are having a formula integration of m by ei del m by del hd dx okay so <clears throat> apply each and every equations okay put all these value first of all we have to put the value of m here then <clears throat> del m by del hd uh, value we have to put <coughs> sorry and then accordingly we have to solve the mean. So first of all del m uh, del, um, del m by ei sorry integration of m by ei del m by del hd we have to solve with respect to x so here we the value we have to put here okay and then we will get the answer in the form of hd here we will get the answer of hd like this so the hd value will be formed in the form of a simultaneous equation so it will be the simultaneous equation will contain the two unknown that is the hd and vd okay but here what we are doing is we are just uh, using the strain energy equation okay and we are putting this uh, del m by del hd so in second case again we have to use the strain energy equation but here we have to use the vertical equation okay so remember in this numerical what we are to go, uh, what we are going to do is first of all we are using the strain energy method for calculating the horizontal reaction and second time we are using the again uh, the strain energy equation for calculating the vertical reaction so by using both the equation okay we are getting two simultaneous equations okay and this two simultaneous equation when you will solve in your calculator okay you will get the value of hd and vd and that hd and vd is nothing but the unknown reaction that is a horizontal reaction and the vertical reaction okay so like this we will get the final answer okay so here the answer will be hd is equal to 10.5 and this uh, vd is equal to like this okay so this is the final output you will get the answer like this okay so always remember whenever you will get the uh, uh, total frame in this in that if one support is fixed and another support is a hinge support so on that hinge support uh, the two reactions will be formed one will be vertical and one will be horizontal so as two reactions will be formed unknown reactions will be formed okay so for that case you have to apply the castiglianos okay theorem of a particular table okay and you will get the two unknowns and you will do the partial derivative okay of moment with respect to that two unknowns and then simultaneously you have to put that particular unknowns in a strain energy equation and you will get the two simultaneous equations of two unknowns and then if you solve that particular uh, simultaneous equation you will get the final output in the form of horizontal reaction as well as the vertical reactions okay so that will be the horizontal and vertical reactions so after getting this equation okay what your last step is you have to calculate the bending moment at point b at point c okay because a point will be at moment uh, as it is a fixed support but there will be a no moment okay so you will get the bending moment at b and c and a and d will be zero okay so <clears throat> like that you can easily solve the numerical okay so a will having uh sorry a will having a fixed support so here uh, in final output you will get uh, some reactions sorry okay but at b support there is a hinge support so there will be a no moment now next uh, numerical we will consider is analyze the given portal frame as shown in figure <clears throat> at the end a is fixed support and d is a hinge support so this is a similar numerical okay let us see this is a 10 kN horizontal load is acting at point B, okay, and this is an unequal leg type of numerical like this. And here again, the DOSI will be 5 minus 3. Here, 3 unknown will be there, here, 2 unknown will be there. But as it is a fixed support, so you will not going to solve this particular unknowns. Only whatever the final output 
in the form of moments will be there only that moment will be considered in point a but here the two unknown will be formed that is vd and hd and then that you have to solve okay again you have to consider the portion first of all where the unknown you have to find so we have to consider the d point first consider the origin d at first ei will be constant okay origin will be 0 to 4 now again the moment will be hd into 4 as we are considering okay the right hand portion so therefore hd will become positive okay so minus the negative sorry minus hd into x distance will be considered okay so del m with respect to vd is 0 with respect to hd is minus x similarly cp portion we are considered so here vb vd into x will be there yes then hd into 4 will be there so it is x and it is minus 4 and if you consider the b portion so here the limit is 0 to 3 okay I, ei factor is ei here hd will be there okay 4 minus x will be considered that is 4 total height is 4 minus x will be distance will be there this is total 4 that is there and this this distance is x so therefore hd into 4 minus x will be considered here okay then vd into 4 is there like this and then 10 into x will be considered okay as there is a difference of column height is there and we are considering the horizontal reactions okay with respect to difference of column height so therefore hd into 4 minus x this particular portion will be considered in case of unequal lag of portal frames okay then here del m by del vd will be equal to 4 with respect to hd it will be minus 4 plus x like this okay now next is the calculation okay so first of all we have to consider or use the uh, strain energy equation to for calculating the vd okay so by applying this particular equation you can easily solve the first simultaneous equation which is having the unknown of vd and then second vd and hd and second you will apply the same equation for calculating the hd value so here you will get the two unknowns first hd vd in first equation and second in like this this equation okay and then solving these two simultaneous equations in your calculator you will get the final answer of hd and vd so bending moment at d is 0 c is equal to like this b is equal to this and a is equal to this okay the so final output you will get the answer like this so this is a very typical type of numerical okay uh, which is always asked in your examination either a equal leg type of total frame or a unequal leg type of total frame okay one more variety of uh, uh, numerical is there in your strain energy method that is a application of the strain energy which is applicable for the truss member okay so but uh, that particular portion okay is more commonly asked or may be applicable in your uh, practical okay because one practical that is analysis of trust is there based on the particular uh, strain energy equation we will cover that particular practical okay in our practical classes okay so uh, let us just briefly see the what are the particular provisions of the strain energy uh, equation which is applicable for the trust member okay so let us see that so analyze the truss using the strain energy method determination of the deflection of a truss by using the uh, mohr's diagram okay this is also called as a pilot mohr diagram okay the scientist uh, mohr was the first person who has discovered this particular equations and he has given some particular diagram for calculating the uh, strains or uh, sorry for calculating the deflections in the uh, trusses so the deflection of the load of the truss member can be calculated as it is given as this is a universal equation okay it is given by the mohr's is del is equal to t u l by e a e t u l by a e this is the equation by this equation you can easily calculate the deflection in any member of the trusses whether it may be a tensile member it may be a compressive member okay so uh, here uh, you will get we know that uh, load is equal to k into delta and delta is equal to p by k okay p is the load applied k is the stiffness of the member and del is the displacement okay so here we can uh, say that where the, the values of p is the forces in the member under the given loads u is the force in any member under the unit load 
at the point at which the deflection is required. So U is the unit load you have to apply, a imaginary unit load you have to apply for the particular member where you require to calculate the deflection in the trusses. Okay, and this unit load act when the load on the trusses has been removed and in the direction in which the deflection is required. Okay, so L is the length of the member. We know that, and A is the cross-sectional area, and E is the modulus of elasticity of the member. So generally, truss is a particularly a steel member. So we know that the modulus of elasticity is 2 into 10 to the power 5 kilonewton per meter square. So that uh, uh, particular value you can use in your calculations. Okay, and you will see this particular type of uh, the numerical based on this particular type of the equation. Uh, in our practical classes, okay. In your practical, you are having a particular truss, and on that particular truss, you will have to calculate the deflection in the particular uh, members, okay. So that portion or the concept of this particular uh, deflection of the trusses by using this uh, strain energy will be more precisely clear in your practical classes, okay. So that's all for today. Okay, we will cover almost 98-99% of this topic of unit number 3. Okay, so if you are having any doubt related to this unit, you may ask any questions. Okay, please do ask any question anytime uh, or just WhatsApp me your queries. Okay, I will uh, make the PDF of the, uh, uh, the same notes and will provide you in your Google Classroom. You can refer that notes also. Okay. And you can also refer one standard book that I have already mentioned, which is available in my WordPress site. Okay, and based on that, you can easily practice that particular topic. Okay, so thank you very much for your kind attentions. Thank you.